Alabama had actually banned yoga for decades. So recently, um, the House of Representatives passed legislation to offer yoga as an elective. So it went in favor of 73 to 25 to allow yoga in the schools, but it's only restricted to stretching and poses only. Um, they said it's illegal if you say namaste, there's no chanting, there's no mantras, there's no mudras. So basically they're saying it's yoga, it's allowed, but you can't do meditation or, 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 or chanting. So basically it's just sitting there stretching. It's really not yoga because the problem is, and it stems from Christianity, is they think that Hinduism is demonic. They think that Hindus are demonic. It's extremely dangerous and it's extremely racist. Now, I also want to point out that not all states in um, America are that orthodox, say, some states in the southern part of America are orthodox, where, say, California or New York, New Jersey might not be as orthodox as some states. So they are really, really orthodox. And, you know, finally, I don't know the exact legislator that decide to bring it up. He really wanted to have yoga, I guess, probably the whole entire format in the schools, but supposedly it's called, you know, it's not banned anymore, but how can you practice yoga? You, there, you, you still can't, you know, do all the functions of yoga and all, all the other things that come with yoga, like the chanting and, you know, the mantras. So, it's really sad that um, a lot of people have this perception about Hinduism and that it's demonic. And a lot of this stems from Christianity and the pastors where they're always preaching that, you know, you have to accept Jesus as your personal savior or you're going to burn in hell. So people listen to that and they believe that all other religions are demonic it's only Jesus. And I just want to point this one point of how dangerous it is in America. There's this one author, his name is Derek Prince. And I read this a, a long time ago, a couple decades ago. And he had said that Hindus are born demonic. Now he's, mind you, he's a very popular author. You know, he's wrote several books and he sells books and most people know him, I guess, in the Christian world, I guess to say. So that statement, when I read that statement, this is like maybe 15, 20 years ago, I thought to myself, and this is even before I went to India and all this, maybe about 20 years ago. And I said, oh my God, that's such a horrible statement. And when I look back today at that statement, I'm like, Hindus are the nicest people in the world. They are the kindest people in the world. They have the best hospitality in the world to make this statement that saying Hindus are born demonic. See, this is very dangerous. And this is what's causing the Hindu phobic people to, you know, say that. And then this situation with Alabama that Hindus are, I mean, I'm sorry, that yoga is demonic. So it's very, very scary. And unfortunately, this is the reality. I believe it's getting better, but you still have a, still a lot of orthodox states that are still on this, you know, trend of, you know, Hindu phobia. So Hopefully it will get better in time. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, 
प्लीज विजिट सी आई टी टी आई डॉट नेट धन्यवाद नमस्कार